Hello everyone, I'm Susan, I'm from Well Peaceful and I'm going to read you um, some writing that I wrote on a charter for well-being. So I'll just get straight to it. Charter of well-being. We the people have created a mindset of right versus wrong. One feels positive, the other feels negative. We the people live on the earth with incomplete knowledge and what we don't know we either fear, plead ignorance, or assume we are right until proven wrong. We the people practice our assumptions until they become fact and leave truth unquestioned. We the people divide, and this becomes the rationale of war from the personal to the international level. Until we the people question ourselves, not in terms of right and wrong, but in terms of what serves well-being and what does not, we are destined to repeat the mistakes. This charter is a guide to well-being for all on earth. To love is to care about well-being, it is not obsession. To give is to share, it is not charity. To empathise is to feel understanding for another, it is not sympathy. To know the truth is to face yourself, it is never about the other. Truth changes as consciousness expands and new truths become visible. Empowerment is to take responsibility for your actions, to live, to express and act in the world in a way that does not take power away from another. The greatest power is, not, is no power over others. Practicing non-violence and speaking the truth. To live together is to experience the joy of learning from others. It is not to avoid contact, but embrace differences. To share space fairly is to experience democracy. To respect another is to accept they have an equal place in this world and to value their humanity. Courage is to face issues fairly and not walk from responsibility. Responsibility is the ability to respond. It is not by greeting challenges in silence. Justice is to be just in the moment. The courts are to redress injustice and restorative justice restores relationships. To work together is to join in a cooperative enterprise for a shared goal. It is not about being better than anyone else, exclusionary or enslaved. To live in a family is the microcosm of the human family. The family is supportive of each other, a shared responsibility, equality of opportunity, conflict resolving, respectful and held together by loving bonds. It is not to be used for personal gain or an imposed dictatorship. Male and female are more similar than different. Emotional awareness and physical strength are biological complements for survival of the species, not biases for asser assertions of superiority or inferiority. Diversity is not equality, for there are no two entities the same. Diversity is not difference, it is uniqueness, and is all the component parts of life on earth. Community is the common unity of human groups. For unity to occur, each person must respect e equally the space of the other, and respect their right to freedom of movement, expression, and peace in life. To live in stewardship on the planet is to take responsibility for all life on Earth without disrupting genetic imprints. To absorb water, wind, earth, and air in balanced sustainability. Love and compassion is the highest calling. It is the purpose of life on Earth. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> thank, thank you for listening and watching. Um, I send you well-being.
feel free to go to worldpeaceful.com. That's www.worldpeace.com. Thank you. Bye.